Hey guys, Abner Miranda here. I'm taking a quick break from uh, working on some videos for you guys and I thought I'd share a little tidbit of knowledge that I've learned the hard way. Whenever I go out to training, I tape up my hand the way you see here. The reason I do this is when I hold my blaster, even though I've customized the frame and I've undercut the trigger guard dramatically, um, it still will get you just a little bit. And also, right here where the pinky meets the frame, the support hand compresses hard against it and you should really have a very tight grip on your pistol. That whole 60-40 crap, whatever. Trust me, it's a gunfight. You ever done airsoft or munitions? <laughs> you're gonna be gripping that sucker as tight as you can and you're gonna be not pressing your trigger but you're gonna be slamming, yanking, cranking on your trigger. So, so anyways, when you're in a proper grip and you're pulling on that trigger and that weapon is cycling, it wants to grind into your pinky right here. So what you do is tape up the, the last little bit of your pinky and just slightly forward of the, uh, of the knuckle here on your middle finger. And it makes a dramatic difference in your comfort level in the class. If you're one of those people who likes to hurt, by all means, enjoy the pain, don't really care. But if you're one of those people who's really serious about training and preserving your body so that when the fight comes looking for you the next day after the class, you're not dealing with a blister, with an injury, with something that's going to cause you a little bit of a flinch and a draw. Because that really is a real thing. If you injure yourself in training because you didn't take care to protect your body, all you're doing is stealing your operability. If you will. Quite literally, the next day, something, you know, trouble could come looking for you and you'll be dealing with an injury. So, um, taping your fingers up really does make a difference in training. And what I would suggest you do, I've tried, once again, I'm going to show you this photograph. I've tried this um, sport tape, whatever this stuff is. I've never tried the kinesiology, kinesthetics, I'm not quite sure what that stuff is called, that they use in physical therapy. I've never tried that before. I have tried moleskin, yeah, I don't like it so much. Moleskin's a little on the thick side. What I found that works really well are ordinary fabric band-aids from Band-Aid or Curel, it doesn't really matter. They don't really have to be sport rated, but you want to get the fabric ones that have the good adhesive on them. You'll know what they are. You know, you spend enough time looking at this stuff in the band-aids in the in the bandage section at Walmart, you'll figure it out. It's not that hard to figure out. You want the ones that are made of fabric because you want them to slide when you grip your weapon and you're doing all the holstering and all the up and out and blah 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 that goes with a class. You want the gun and the band-aid to slide past one another which is the whole point of it. It protects the skin underneath. So it sounds like a little thing, but trust me guys, it's a big, big, big deal. And it really will improve your quality of life when you're in training. Because remember, if you are hurting, you are not learning. So that's what I got for you guys today. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll answer as always. God bless you all. Thank you for watching. Get those guns up and practice. Have a good one.